Hi, students. Nice to see you again. Okay, now in this video, sir would like to explain a question from the chapter permutation and combination. And this is a, a question from SPM 2019. Okay, and the question, this question is a request by a few of the students. Okay, so let me go through the question class. Okay, the diagram below shows the four digit passcode. 0131 set by Sans on his hand smartphone is on smartphone. Okay, now for your information class, when you read the questions from this chapter, the first important thing you should understand is you have to know whether this is the permutation questions or combination question. That is the first thing you have to understand. Okay, so now for all my students, I normally will tell them. For permutations, so try to get some keyword. The most famous keyword for permutation is arrangement. Arrangement and some question they will use the word code. Okay, since I can see the word code here, can you see the word code here? Passcode, they put it as a passcode. So since you can see the word code here, so I can confirm this. This is a permutation question. Understand? And then the the numbers, right? The numbers is arranged in the format of, uh, they, they arrange, right? They arrange. Okay. So whatever things they arrange is go into the permutation. So all the arrangement will go into a permutation. Understand? Okay. I already solved your first problem. Okay. This is the permutation question. So that's number one. Okay. Number two. This is a uh, doubt asked by the student. They asked me, sir, is this question, in this question, the repetition is allowed or not allowed? Okay, if you ask me class, if I read the questions, it's not stated, it's not stated, right? But with this example, can you see this example given for us? 0, 1, 3, 1, this is the example given, right? Okay, in this example, you can see yourself, one is repeating, can you see one, number one is repeating? So indirectly we know that, in this question, repetition is allowed. So I already answer your second question. Understand? Okay, first thing, this is a permutation question. And second thing, these questions, repetitions are allowed. Okay, understand? Okay, let us start. Let us start. Okay, now we want, I continue the reading your question class. Huh? He want to reset the passcode such, such that the new passcode cannot consist of Cannot consist of the digit one followed by digit three. Okay, how many different passcode can be formed? So this is your question. Okay, since the repetition is allowed, so let me give you the maximum number of arrangement. Okay, so I put the four empty box because four digit, right? Four digit. Okay, in the first box, we can have 10 digit. We can have 10 digit. Okay, 10 digit because we have 10 digit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The zero also is counted as one more digit. So we have 10 digit all together. We have 10 digit all together. Understand? So that's why I have 10 digit here. Okay, when you go to the second box, we still have 10 more digit. So maybe why? Because all the numbers are allowed to repeat again. Huh? Again, that's why it's still 10. So if we go to the third box, it's still 10 and the last box also 10. So why is continuous with the 10? Because all the digit can be repeated. Understand? So the number of arrangement, the number of, the total number of arrangement is, so I'm going to take 10 times 10 times 10 and times 10. So you have 10,000 all together. Okay, this 10,000 is the total number of, sorry, is a maximum number of arrangement. Maximum, we call it maximum. So maximum means you cannot have more than this ready. Okay, so 10,000 is all the arrangement is inside 10,000. Now, if you read the question here, okay, the new passcode, the new passcode cannot consist of the digit one followed by three. That means cannot consist, huh? cannot consist of one followed by three. That means we're going to find the number of one followed by three, then we're going to minus with our 10,000. Understand? So that is our idea. To solve this question. Okay, let me explain. Huh? Let us start. Okay, so I'm going to create a first arrangement. Okay, in my first arrangement, 
I'm going to place one and three. One must follow by three. Yeah? One must follow by three. Okay. And then if you already fixed a value, you, if you already fixed the value, that means it's only one, one and one here. Okay. At these two empty box here, in these two empty box, no condition, right? No condition. So it's going to be 10 and 10. Understand? Okay. So here, the number of, uh, uh, what you call the number of arrangement, you need to multiply all this. You're going to multiply and you're going to get 100. Understand? Okay, 100. Okay. Understand, class? Huh? Okay. Inside this arrangement, okay, let me give you one more thing. Okay, inside this arrangement, there's another arrangement, it's like this. 1, 3, and 1, 3. Okay, inside, inside this, huh? inside this, got 1, 3, 1, 3. So this 1, 3, 1, 3 is a 1, 1, 1, 1. So if we multiply all this, so you're going to get 1. Okay, don't worry, class. This 1, 3, 1, 3 is already inside here. Already inside this 100. Understand, huh? This 1, 3, 1, 3 is already inside this 100. Okay, so never mind. So I tell you why I do that one separate. Later I'll tell you. Okay. Another number of another way of solution is this. So I'm going to place the one three here. So this one going to be one, and this one going to be one, and the empty box here going to be can be any numbers. So can ten here also can be ten. So if we multiply here, all this when you multiply, so you're going to get hundred. Okay, done. Huh? Okay. Another way your one three can be at the last. Here, like this. So this is one, and this is one, and this is ten, and this also ten. So if we multiply here, so this one going to be another hundred. Okay, but class, let me tell you one problem here. So this is the problem that I encounter when I do this calculation. Okay, class, can you see this one three, one three and one three? Actually, this one three one three also inside this, inside this. Okay. The one three one three also still inside this. So that means this one three, one three also is inside this hundred. Understand? Is inside this hundred. So that means this is one 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 one. If you multiply all, everything is the same actually same. So what Sir trying to say is okay. This combination is actually one three one three is actually inside this hundred, and also inside this hundred. Hope that you understand. Okay, that means the one three one three is repeating actually, repeating. So it's inside this also got one three one three, and inside here also also got one three one three. So what is my idea for you is, listen ah. Huh? So you take the ten thousand. You take the ten thousand. You minus three hundred. So maybe you can ask me where's the three hundred? This is the total of three hundred. This all this is three hundred, right? All this is a three hundred, right, class? You minus this three hundred, then you plus again with the one. So why you plus back with the one? Because one, three, one, three, you already minus twice. You already minus one, three, one, three, twice. So I need to neutral back that one. So I plus one again. So the answer going to be uh, 9701. This is your final answer. So please try to understand why I'm plus one here. Because inside here, you already, minus, you already have 1313. One, three. You already minus 1 here. And here also, you already minus 1. To make this one neutral, you need to plus 1. Understand? Because we only need to minus one time only. Understand? So 1313 three, one, three have to minus only one time. So you have to plus 1 again. Understand, class? Okay? This is your suggestion answer, class. Okay? So you can uh, try to explain this answer to your teacher. And try to convince whether your teacher can accept my answer or maybe your teacher will give you a new answer. You, we try and discuss later. Okay. So thank you class. Have a nice day.